Canva just released a whole bunch of brand new features that are really useful and are definitely gonna level up the way we design with Canva. In this video, I'm going over the top five new drops that I love and think are gonna be super helpful for you and I'm saving the best till last, so make sure you watch this video all the way through to the end to see which one of the new features is my absolute favorite. And let's go ahead and dive in. Now, some of these new features are available for free and pro users. Some are only available for Canva pro users. That means that you're paying monthly for Canva's upgraded subscription plan. So if you're not yet a Canva Pro user and you think you might like access to some of these new features and all of the Canva Pro capabilities, I have a link in the video description box below that'll give you 30 days for free on Canva Pro so you can try it out, test out all the Canva Pro tools, and see if you think it might be a good fit for your business. All right, the first new drop we're looking at is the upgraded Magic Write. So here in Canva, if we come to the left where it says text, we'll open up this menu of different text options and we can click where it says Magic Write. Now Magic Write is not a new Canva feature, but they've upgraded it and given us more options. So Magic Write is Canva's AI tool to help you generate text where you can give it a prompt describing what you want and it'll automatically write it out for you. So for example, I might say generate a social media caption for a 50% off Black Friday sale using a Taylor Swift reference. I click generate and now it's using AI to go ahead and write out this caption for me. So it says, ready for it. Shake off those holiday shopping blues because our Black Friday sale is here and it's a love story you won't wanna miss. So we can see all of our different Taylor Swift references in here. Now, if I like this caption the way it is, I could click to insert, but the new magic write features that have just been added are these two buttons right here where it says more like this and this button. So if I click more like this, it's gonna generate a second version of this caption that's similar and use the same prompt that I originally gave it, but it's just a different version that's slightly differently written. So I can use the second version or I can always go back to the first version by clicking this little back arrow and I can continue generating more like this each time and getting different versions to see which one I like the best. Now, if I have something specific I want to change in the caption, I can click this but button and type in exactly what I want it to change. So I might say, I like this, but only use one Taylor Swift reference instead of many and click generate. And now it's given me an alternative version with only one Taylor Swift reference instead of a lot. So these two new magic write buttons give us more options to edit this text before we actually insert it into our project. Let's move on to our second new drop, which is the art list collection. If I come over here to elements, I can type in the search bar at art list. And this is going to bring up the whole art list collection of cinematic videos that I can use to create a really professional looking video. So there's all different kinds of these beautiful cinematic videos as part of the art list collection that I can use in my project. And I can search even further if I'm looking for a specific type of video by keeping the at art list and adding a word next to that. So I might say ocean if I want ocean videos. So I searched at art list ocean and now I've got all of these different beautiful cinematic ocean videos from the Artlist collection that I can just simply click and add to use in my project. These Artlist videos are just an amazing way to level up the professionalism and quality of the stock videos I'm using. One thing I absolutely love using Canva for is to create digital products to sell online. This is an amazing way to make passive income to create products that you only have to put a bit of effort in in the beginning and then you can set it up to sell on repeat over and over again, basically on autopilot making you sales while you're not even really working. So if you think you might like to make a little extra money working from home, selling digital products online, I've got just the thing that's going to help you get started. It's my free 45 minute long masterclass digital product powerhouse. And it goes through the four main steps that you'll need to take to start and grow a profitable online digital products business. I've got that class linked in the description box below. So you can click to hop over and watch that right when you get done with this video. And on to drop number three, which is new animation options. So for this example here, I've got an image that I might use as part of a slide deck presentation with a picture of me, some text, some elements. And I might wanna animate this so that when I'm presenting this as a whole presentation, each time I move on to the next slide, these elements aren't just static on the page, but their entrance and exit or both are animated. So if I wanna animate, let's say just this photo, I can click on the photo and come up to the animate button at the top. Now this is not new, but what's new are these new animation options here for photos. So you can see here at the top, we've got page and photo. So right now we're animating just this photo. And in a second, we'll look at how to animate the whole page. But when we're on photo, we have these new options like brush, ink, digital, gradient, sketch, and spray paint. 
So when I choose one of these that I like, let's say ink, then I've got some further options. I can choose to animate the photo on enter. So as soon as the photo comes up, when I click to this slide, it'll animate that on the exit when I'm moving to the next slide to make the photo disappear or both. If I have Canva Pro, I can also choose a different style. So we've got seep where it sort of just seeps in. We've got flow, bloom, and splotch. So these are all just really fun new ways to animate a photo, but let's say I want to animate not just the photo, but all of the different elements on my page, including my text. I can come over from photo to page, and this is gonna let me select an animation for all of the different elements on my page together. All right, moving right along, this next one is a super useful new tool, and this is interactive charts. Now charts on Canva are not a new feature. For a while now, we've been able to come over to the elements tab and look at these different bar charts and line charts, but Canva has just introduced some new charts and specifically interactive charts so that we're able to interact with them specifically using these for things like a presentation. So for instance, we can take a look at this radar chart. This is what I've got here as an example. And when we click on this, we can edit the settings for how this chart is laid out. We can enter all of our data here and we can change the colors that we're using for each of these different parts of the chart. What's interactive about this though, is that when we go to click to present this, let's say this was one of our slides in a presentation that we're giving to our team, we could then interact with this. And when I hover over each section, it brings that color out to pop out a little bit more from the background and brings up the menu where it shows you all of the data for that part of the chart. So instead of using just a plain static chart, we've got this interactive one now, which lets us present our data in a more dynamic way. Okay, time to move on to my very favorite drop of this whole release, and this is Canva's new Dream Lab. Now, normally when we're on the Canva homepage, the Dream Lab icon should appear over here on our left-hand side menu at the very bottom, but since Canva is gradually rolling all of these releases out, you may not see it here yet. I don't have my icon here yet, but if you want to access Dream Lab, you can come to the Dream Lab page by going to this link, canva.com slash dream dash lab, and that'll take you here to where you can access the new Dream Lab tool. You can see up here in the top right corner how many prompts you get access to when you're using Dream Lab, depending on if you are a Canva free or Canva pro user. As of right now, when they're just rolling this out, free users have 20 prompts they're allowed to try the tool with, and pro users are gonna have 500 per month that renew every single month. So Dream Lab is Canva's new text to image AI tool where you can generate a photo or an image using a text prompt. And this is powered by Leonardo AI. The quality of these images is supposed to be very high and I'm super excited to start trying this. So the few areas you'll need to be familiar with when you come here is this box where you're going to type in your text prompt describing what type of image you want it to generate. And then you can also come down here to these two buttons. This one on the left says smart. So if you click on that, you'll be able to see different styles of images you can choose from, everything from cinematic to creative to 3D render, minimalist, moody. We've even got options for sketch black and white, pop art, and vector. And then this button to the right is gonna be your aspect ratio options. So you can choose what aspect ratio you want your image in. So for this, let's say I want a vertical nine by 16. I'm gonna choose this sketch color style and give it a prompt. Now it says describe the image in a few words, which you could try, but I found in general that text to image prompts work much better if you give it a very detailed description of what you're wanting it to generate instead of staying simple with it. So we're gonna give it as much detail as possible. And if you find yourself getting stuck on how to describe this, you can always go to ChatGPT and ask ChatGPT to help you generate a prompt. So I've typed in the prompt, a happy puppy frolicking in a field of flowers with a pastel colored sky above. The puppy is wearing a blue bandana and is looking up at the clouds with a smile on its face. So we're going to click create and see what this will generate for us. And here it's given us four different options based on the prompt that we typed in. Again, click on each of these to look closer. And I'm thinking each of these looks pretty good for what we actually gave the AI tool to work with. We can see the pastel colors and the cloud in the sky. The puppy's got his blue bandana on. We've got our field of flowers. So I think each of these looks awesome, but I'm interested to see what the same prompt would generate in a different style. So now we're gonna go from the sketch style over to pop art. We're gonna click create again, and it's gonna regenerate with the same prompt in the pop art style. All right, so here are four pop art options, which are really cute. I'm loving all of these and still thinking these are pretty right on for what I had in mind when I typed in the prompt. 
I wanna try one more style here and see what this will do with the Vibrant style selected. All right, so here we are with the Vibrant style and we can click on this to see the quality, which I think is pretty good for an AI tool. We've got really nice lighting coming in from the left side here, the shadowing looks correct and still following our prompt really well. So once I find one that I like, I can click to either download it as it is or click to use it in a design, which is gonna add it to my canvas inside of the Canva editor, which I can then continue editing and working with inside my project. So those are my top five favorite Canva new releases from this recent drop. Don't forget to click the link in the description box below to try out Canva Pro for free for 30 days so you get access to all of those awesome new features. And also click that link in the description box below to hop over and watch my free 45 minute long masterclass digital product powerhouse. I know it's gonna be super useful for you in your online business. Talk soon, friends. Okay.